This feels very confrontational. Oh, that's nice. Alright, I'm gonna go say goodnight to my dad. And I'll be back. Let's do something brighter. I'm gonna do this. I feel like I need my salt lamp. Maybe this. No, this is too disgusting. Let's just, you know what, bear with me, I'll figure it out. So, I feel like you guys are way too high. <laughs> gonna take me a minute. She's learning. This was a shower thought. Um, I'm gonna take my time. And honestly, this video is more for me than it is for anybody else. Normally when I'm filming, I feel obviously some level of pressure to be entertaining or think of the right words and go at a pace that is consistent and interesting and engaging and obviously I don't, I'm not perfect, I mean I've just started but um, I think I need to take my time with this one and think about it by the way can we just give my mom a huge shout out for this ring light because this is dope 
and she just like up the quality of my YouTube by like 10 times, so thanks mom. So why am I making this? And what is the point of this? That would be a good place to start. Honestly, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but my why is that I don't want to feel so empty and bored. A couple months ago, I felt I was really struggling. Um, life was really hard and intense and I had constant deadlines and it took everything, everything out of me. But I could find purpose in the everyday. And for the past three weeks, I've been missing that sense of drive and everything has really caught up with me and I'm not sure if I've uploaded it but there was a video that I filmed where I describe how I am really struggling um, I'm PMSing right now um, I've been dealing with anxiety, I haven't been able to sleep properly which has been quite annoying um, been quite lonely and I've been dealing with a level of heartbreak and a lot of stress this year. A lot of stress. And everybody, like every professional that I've kind of spoken to, as I've slowly left them because I finished my treatment or my course with them, they've all said to me, you know, keep believing in, in yourself, as cliche as it sounds, and <clears throat> you're bright and you're going to be great and you are going to achieve your dreams and don't be so hard on yourself as well. There's an influencer that I really look up to and she's, like the best way I could describe her is like she's such a babe, like she's awesome, such a boss and so beautiful and feminine and cool and I would love to be friends with her someday and we talk every now and then on DM and she said the same thing. When I say we talk, she's kind enough to respond to me. <laughs> the thing is though, without going into it too much, where I am in my life, I do feel pressure. I can't help but feel pressure. And yeah, you know, it is coming from me. But I don't think that's a bad thing. There's a lot that I want to do. And a lot that I want to be. And a lot of this year I struggled with special feelings. And time and time again, I chose to stick around for me, for those dreams, even if I didn't realize them in that moment. They gave me a sense of purpose. And right now, life is working out in the way life does, where you don't always get everything you want when you want it is okay but it just means that I'm now looking at my life and I'm like I'm gonna get really busy really soon and I don't know how I'm gonna make those dreams happen I, I don't know how to incorporate that into my day to day and I think as a result of that I feel really purposeless kind of like I'm floating about and nothing I do really makes me happy. I baked a cake today, you know, and that felt good. And I did it, and you know, the cake was alright. <laughs> it wasn't my favorite. I shouldn't have done cream cheese icing. Um, I danced a bit the other day. I've been reading. I made a vision board. That still makes me feel good. I went out for walk. I've tried a few things. 
I just don't think that anything will really make me feel better unless it's got something to do with me building my future. There are things like singing and dancing and art and creativity that, yeah, they make me feel connected to myself, um, liberated, happy, yeah. But it doesn't solve this sort of, I guess it doesn't heal this gaping hole that I feel. And I didn't want to get swept away and think oh, that my PMS couldn't be influencing any of this and the fact that I don't really go out and I don't see my friends, you know. By the way, for context, a lot of my friends live far away. I don't have money to see them. I don't have a car. Um, and a lot of my friends have graduated university or they're doing their masters or they're, you know, as a result of that, they're looking for full-time jobs. Like, people are just very busy. Part of me, I still feel like I might be making excuses because I want to keep people away as well. I don't think I really explained my why, but I guess it's, um, it's just I'm tired of feeling mushy, <laughs> I guess. Like, every day is sort of okay, but still so much potential is being wasted and I didn't stick around for me to be mediocre or to just go with the flow. I mean, I'll go with the flow, obviously, to an extent, but I also need to take the reins to an extent, and I'm really struggling to even find the reins at this point. The other day, I want to say probably like two days ago, I just got really real with myself, and I was honest, and I said, I really want, I want to lose weight. I do want to lose weight. I miss feeling confident in my body and it doesn't mean that I have to go back to being as skinny as I was. Um, I just think, I honestly think I was under eating for how much I was working out at that time back in 2022. Um, but I do want to lose weight. And so I had these shower thoughts and I'm thinking about what can I do? Should I do smart goals? How can I measure happiness? Should I like, bring up some questions? Um, of what, like, cause when I was in therapy, my therapist asked me some questions. She'd like check in with me on session one, then like session six and session 12, just to kind of measure how I feel about myself and my life effectively. I don't really know how to measure this. How do you measure happiness? I don't think a week is enough time. So I guess you could say my goal is to not necessarily feel entirely resolved from within, but to feel more steady and glowy from within. I'd like that. I'd like to feel better about myself. I would, and I think in the past what I've done wrong is I would let everything fall to pieces and basically I'd hit rock bottom and then I would make and be like, I'm going to make a plan and I'm going to be super disciplined and that would always happen and of course it never worked and this time it's not so much that I haven't really hit rock bottom in that sense, which is a good thing. So I don't really feel the need to like overhaul anything either. Or do I want to? So when I came out the shower and I was looking at myself in the mirror when I was like getting dressed and everything and I was like, yeah, you know, I could could definitely lose a little weight to be healthier. I was like, how can I incorporate that? Because that's my automatic instinct. That's what I used to do where I'd be like, okay, how can I achieve as many goals as possible in as short a time as possible, which is obviously ridiculous. I sort of checked myself and I was like, actually losing weight isn't the priority right now. Feeling better is. And so if I'm exercising to feel better and I happen to lose weight, that's a different story, but losing weight isn't the focus here. 
I guess what I need to do is figure out what it is that's going to make me feel glowier and steadier this coming week tomorrow in 18 minutes it's Saturday and I've got a work shift from 10 to 4 and then on Sunday I've got a shift from 9 to 5 so I really don't have much say over there I will say that the food is very healthy and I really appreciate that plus I'll be on my feet so that's a good thing later Saturday evening I meant to go to the temple with my dad and my sister and it's been a long time and I think that would be really nice to sit with God and I mean obviously you can do that anywhere but to do it in a place where I've been going since I was a child with my granddad too like my late granddad um, it is always like a special place for me and um, I think that would be a nice way to sort of start things off and then I'm not working next weekend so effectively after this weekend I have seven days what I'm going to do I think I'm going to make this like episode one which is the introduction and sort of talking and the backstory and every day I am going to do my best to create a sort of episode if you will um, I don't want to make it like too long because I don't have all the time in the world to edit but it really is for me I guess you know I'm going to try and keep that in mind that this is for me and the goal is to feel glowier and steadier so where does that leave us? I, after filming this, I'm going to get ready for bed and I'm going to sleep because I have to wake up in like seven hours and I have no intention of being late to work so with regard to this weekend I don't know exactly how much footage I'm going to get what exactly I'm going to do I think I'm going to take things slow I think uh, obviously whilst I'm at work I can't do anything but when I come back I'm going to try and tidy my bedroom I think that'll be nice it'll give me some space and clarity so that I can film better as well Sunday I'm actually working more so I guess my goal this weekend would be to tidy my environment. I think that's step one to feeling steadier and glowier. Just get it done because I started this like a month ago and I think I owe it to myself to have it done once and for all. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm gonna have a quick look at my agenda for next week. One thing I do want to say, I think I'm going to go D&D. &D. My friends haven't been contacting me anyway, um, so I think we'll be fine. And I think I can afford like seven days where I'm just like, Peace out. Yeah, I've got literally, when I say nothing, I'm going to have a couple of online meetings, but it's nothing crazy. I just have to do one thing. Monday. Yeah, you can literally see. You see that? It's like nothing on my agenda, which is amazing. I think what I want to do is have a plan. If I don't have a plan, then it's going to be really hard for me to make things up as I go. Having a plan is part of intention and it's not about having a whole day planned out to a T if that doesn't work for you. It's just about knowing what it is that you want to achieve within that week and then break that down into days too, ideally. I did create a sort of structure for myself a couple of weeks ago in terms of what I wanted to do. I never did it that way 
and to some extent I understand because of how life worked out. I think I need to recognise that, you know, this weekend is probably going to fly by. Um, and then after that, the week too is going to fly by. And so what I don't want to do is write down like 10 different things that are really, really difficult and I have to think about them a lot, like only eat this and eat between these hours and especially like those types of things. I have no control over that. It's really hard to control something like my diet when I'm at home living with my family. And so that's hardly the first thing that I want to go in and change because that's going to be the biggest headache. So I need to think, given my goal, what is it that I can do to make myself feel better? So I think what I'm going to do, um, I have this journal, isn't it beautiful? My sister bought it for me. We got it at Waterstones. It's one of my favorite stores, actually. I love Waterstones. I just like live in there. Um, but yeah, I usually just write like YouTube stuff in here, but I'm gonna write down, I mean, this is effectively YouTube. I'm going to write down the things that I, I guess, need to feel better. And I'm gonna say need this week. Glowy and steady. Sorry, you're shaking. Okay, so I think one huge thing that's missing from my life is exercise. Last year, um, I really struggled with my mental health in the autumn term for a couple of reasons. Um, one of them being my breakup. And, um, yeah, anyway. I really struggled and not exercising consistently that the way that I had been for like a year before that was not great. Um, every year without fail during the autumn winter, winter time, I've always felt like, I'm not gonna say suffered, but like, I mean actually yeah, yeah, if I'm like perfectly honest. And it really started when I was like 17 in year 13, where I noticed it really hitting me, um, just like the severe, these severe like depressive episodes that had nothing really to do with my cycle, um, yeah, so the, the weather and all of that, um, wouldn't help, and the only time I was able to sort of, is evade it, right word, like, the only time I was able to kind of stay away, or stay clear of it, was in late 2021, early 2022, because I was exercising all the time, and that really, really helped me. And so I think one key thing we need to bring back is not just dancing, but like weights. I need to do stuff with weights. So I'm going to say weights or resistance training. Okay, so that's one big thing. I think another thing that's important, I did this as well earlier in the year when I was feeling really suicidal and I knew I needed to change how things were going. I made sure I went outside every day, so I'm going to do that. It sounds really simple, but it's these little things that can make a difference. Like today I went out and it was actually for two minutes and I topped up this bird feeder um, that I take care of. and. I saw these birds flying by and everything, but like, I don't think there was enough time for me today, but still, like, going out, <clears throat> going out can be really, really helpful, and so, as long as I get outside, um, I think that's really important. I do gratitude every day already, so that's good. Another big thing would be, um, sleep around the same time, and for same-ish hours. Then under that I'm gonna put shower by a certain time. I mean it's already sort of a house rule my parents had to remind me of just to not shower too late because then it gets disruptive. I guess also under that have a chore plan. I'm actually gonna say do one chore every day. I sort of already do but like just to ensure that I remember. I think I need to be reading, quite honestly, but I'm gonna get into that in a second. I will edit these videos. 
this is probably going to take me like two hours every day so my other videos are going to be on the back burner for a minute what if i say i want to get this out every single day so today today's video that i'm filming i'll get out tomorrow I don't want to say something like have all videos prepared by the end of this week to then upload because that could mean that I don't stagger my work correctly and I don't want to do that. I don't want to focus on the goal, like where I want to be on that day so much. I want to focus on the day to day. I'm going to say edit this series first thing every day. I think the next one should be about um, reading and editing. Now bringing in the stuff that's to do with my purpose. I think one of the things that makes me feel rubbish is that during the weekdays I'm not earning any money and I don't feel like I'm contributing much to something that would earn me money. You see, if you're in education, you go in with a perception that you putting in those hours will eventually earn you money someday, right? So it doesn't really feel like wasted hours. You're going to get that money, but you're going to get it at another time. Whereas with me now being out of education, it's not that I feel like I'm floating about, like, you know, and just being a slob all day. It's not like that, but... The lack of structure and the lack of deadlines is making me feel... Is inertia the right word? Like the state of where am I? What am I doing? I have no one really to respond to, but I should really respond to myself and basically calls for more self-discipline. I don't want to go in there like, I think as my mom would say, like a hatora. I don't, know what's, I don't even know what that means. But like, I don't want to go in and be like, you have to do things like this, and da, 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 if you don't do it like this, you're you know. Um, I guess read and dance every day. That's so important. I need to do that. So reading. <sighs> Can you hear my back click? I mentioned in a short that I posted on my other channel that, um, about this accident I had, I'll probably like post something about it here at some point as well in one of my videos. I fell down some stairs in May and it was pretty shit <laughs> and um, I've had to be in physio since. Thankfully it's gotten a lot better, like it was so painful at the time, I couldn't walk, couldn't shower properly, I couldn't, it was horrible, everything was just horrible. I couldn't breathe, <laughs> it was just like... It's a great time. Um, and we still have some issues every now and then. I had physio today, so we're a little sore and clicky. That's okay. I had physio, so it's all good. I think... I'm not gonna lie, this part is gonna be hard. But I think I need to come off of social media. Okay, so... Basically, I have to say... No... Checking... So basically, I will delete it. I mean, I just did to film this video as well. Um, Insta, TikTok, that's it. I don't, I don't use anything else. Yeah, so no checking Insta or TikTok. I'm aware that obviously this isn't a controlled sort of experiment, um, but I guess that's because it's not an experiment. I know that doing these things will make me feel better. All of them together will make me feel better, so who gives a shit if it's the weights or if it's the no checking and stuff or whatever like the goal is to make myself feel better i think these will make me feel better that's good and then we just need our sort of like input so i've written on there read i'm going to write just underneath spanish question mark and something else i'm going to write is um editing because i'm sure like i'll have time in the day especially if i'm not on socials so where does this leave us things i need this week to feel glowy and steady weights slash resistance training go outside every day 
sleep around the same time and for the same hours, so shower by a certain time as well, do one chore every day, edit the series, the first thing, first thing every day, read and dance every day, so important, no checking Insta or TikTok, none. I actually think that sounds manageable, which is good, because any time I've made plans in the past, there's a reason that they never worked. <laughs> I think I can handle this. I mean, not just think, I, I will handle this. And I think it's easy enough for me to do. I will obviously have leftover time during the day. And during that time, I don't want to be fucking about and watching Netflix. And I mean, to be honest, I don't do much of that anyway. But, um, okay, I think everything else will sort of fall into place. As a result of this and um yeah that's that's it that's episode one i guess nice and boring it does feel weird because i am just filming for me um usually if i'm like filming for other people i'm like more trying to get the point out and get it out fast and that's why i like um and ah and like and this and that a lot more whereas now it's just like i'm gonna take my happy time <laughs> So it's now 12.03, it's officially Saturday, that is the end of, I guess you could say, episode one. If you are watching, if it's somebody else that's not me watching, then thank you, I guess, thank you for watching and um, thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope that this can be helpful to you too, and if you have any ideas or recommendations, then of course um, leave them down below, I'd love to read and see what you have to say. But again, this is honestly just for me and I want to document it as a form of accountability and I think it'd be also, I think it would also be nice to be able to look back and be like, oh, okay, cool, you know, I did that. So that's it and um, I'll see you later today. <laughs>